Welcome back to Chat with Chad. I've got the great pleasure today to speak with Aaron from EY. Aaron, welcome. Hey, thanks for having me today. Yeah, so we want to let the customers know that EY is a great partner, great right. customer of UiPath. You've done a ton of implementations. <laughs> Talk to the world a little bit about some of the things you guys have automated. Sure, yeah. So, you know, I'd say nine out of 10 times for the customers that are getting started, they're looking at finance and HR. Those tend to be the places where there's a lot of simple use cases. It's a good opportunity to learn the technology yep. and it's relatively safe. You're dealing with a lot of controls, a lot of back office operations and those repetitive tasks quite a bit. So let, let's talk about that at that accounting. Give me an mm -hmm. example of accounting. Sure. What's something you normally go in and do with a, a customer? Sure. So typically we like to look at them as skills. Reconciliation okay. and data entry. Those are common skills that are replicated all over the place. Bank reconciliations, month in sub-ledger to ledger reconciliations. Those types of things, again, repetitive, high volume, very predictable, and very safe to start with because they're very simple use cases of yeah, the Yeah, they technology. follow the rules. They're mathematical. Right. They're exactly. it's a structured thing. Talk to me a little bit about HR. I'm sure. a big fan of automation okay. inside of HR. Uh, tell us something yep. that you guys normally do there. Sure, with HR, just take the onboarding process, for example. When you onboard something, first off, you have hundreds or thousands of employees. Think about the numbers right there right. in general. Now the time it takes. How many systems does it touch? How many approval emails do you have to have? People need to be signed up with a username, a badge, a P card, Amex, a desk, all the consistency you need, automation plays so well to that. That's so very true. Mm -hmm. I hear that over and over. Yeah. Uh, so I, I talk to customers a lot, especially new customers, about sure. if you don't have this in-house expertise, mm -hmm. get yourself a partner right. and go in there with a partner. Tell the world why that's important. Sure, sure. So when automation came out, RPA specifically, it was sold as as quick, easy, cheap, you know, you know, low-hanging fruit. And there's certain aspects that are true, but if you look up RPA failures, they're all over the oh, place, yeah. right? Getting started, getting to scale is hard. So what we like to do is take a very holistic approach to it. You know, this is, if you're going to go down this automation first journey, yeah. you need to think, I need a champion involved, and I need an experienced partner. So some things that you can think about is building that pipeline, right? And there's different ways. There's a crowdsourcing, there's top down, it's confusing. You know, what's the best yeah. way to get those practical use cases? that can actually make it to production and work. The second thing is governance and an operating model. You don't want to do this 20 different ways in the organization right. and just let things loose. So the guardrails of a governance model is important and we come with a playbook that is then customized as a starting point and then becomes your playbook and eventually your model. So when you guys pull out, mm -hmm. the, the, the partner or the, I'm sorry, the customer is left with a working COE. You've trained right. them on how to do it. You've trained them on the structure. You've trained them on the mm -hmm. flow and they become self-sufficient. Mm -hmm. But I want to talk about what's coming next. Sure. You know, we talk about RPA and AI mm -hmm. and ML and mm -hmm. all the different acronyms that we throw out there. But really, I mean, EY's got a really long arm mm -hmm. and looks at a lot of customers. What do you sure. see coming down the pike? Sure, exactly. So for the customers that have adopted RPA and they feel comfortable, RPA pill paired with the other AI technologies is definitely the next generation this year. So the machine learning with RPA, I mean, RPA is the arms and legs, but the machine learning that can learn and predict, like predictive analytics, the, the financial planning, operational demand planning, we also have document intelligence, right? From the unstructured to structured reading contracts. Right. EY, one of the biggest consumers of contracts and paper in general, right? Imagine so we're, that. Yeah, we're, <laughs> so we're, we're really seeing that take off this year with the document intelligence too. Well, that's great. Mm -hmm. Thanks for spending some time with sure. me and thanks for watching Chat with Chat and we'll see you next time. Thank you.